The big fireworks show in Seattle went off without a hitch, and today volunteers have been working to clean up the aftermath. One man was up bright and early to do his part. Come before us, Kristen Cadell shows us how he's made the day after Independence Day a yearly tradition. You know what they say? One man's trash. A plaid blanket. Is another man's. Can we give it to one of the homeless guys I know? Treasure. It'll glitter in the grass. Sometimes it's shiny and his to keep. Well, I guess it's, yes, yeah, 31 cents. But last year it was about 15 bucks. Other times. I found a wallet over there in that area. It's something he knows he needs to give back. The person who, will, who owned it was very surprised when I got in contact with him. And then. And these are the original 13, supposedly, but. They, then they throw it away. There's the things he wishes he'd never stumbled upon. The real celebration behind it is the, uh, the sacrifices that the people made. The fireworks from the night before at Gasworks Park may have faded with the morning sun. But the trash, oh, the trash, it's scattered and piled high. Don't make a joke. This Seattle man. Everett Washington. Yes, that's his name. And yes, he's heard the jokes. And I don't have a brother named Spokane. And I don't have a sister named Aberdeen. He embarked on his scavenger hunt of sorts before daybreak. I didn't know they were such big scavengers. Just a few geese by his side. Before the other volunteers arrived, Everett was lending his time to clean up the patriotic mess. Since 2002. Uh, that's when I lost my job. Mm -hmm. He never knows what his next step will lead him to. We do believe that there are things that are already set up in our lives. We just don't know what they are. Everett Washington says he'll be back next year. Same time, same place, same spirit. <laughs> they can't help but make you proud to be an American. I love it. Mm -hmm. In Seattle, I'm Kristen Cadell, Como 4 News. Thank you, Kristen. Still ahead on First News at 4, climbing for a cause.